Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Nigerians have acquitted from Ukraine arrive Abuja on Friday. Inspector General of Police approves new and improved dress code for women officers. Zamfara State Police Command denies allegations of extortion and misconduct by some of its men. Federal government reconstitutes team to renegotiate 2009 agreement with ASU. Nigeria has joined a list of African nations that have evacuated their citizens in the wake of the Russian invasion, with the first batch of Nigerian evacuees from Ukraine arriving in Abuja on Friday morning. The passengers, numbering about 450 from Romania, landed at the private jet terminal of the Inam Diazeko International Airport. They are mostly students who fled Ukraine to Romania following Russia's invasion of the country. They were received by government officials and are expected to undergo documentation, after which they will head home and self-isolate in line with COVID-19 protocols. The federal government said they will be given some money to enable them get to their destinations. The Inspector General of Police IGP Usman Akalibaba has approved a new and improved dress code for women officers, which permits them to wear stud earrings and headscarf under the berets or peak caps, as the case may be while in uniform. The dress code was unveiled at the IGP's meeting with strategic police managers on 3rd of March 2022. The IGP noted that the Nigeria Police Workforce has officers from every local government in the country with a variety of ethnic and religious backgrounds and an increased inclusion of female folks. The Zamfara State Police Command has denied stories making rounds over allegations over alleged extortion and misconduct of some of its men at different filling stations across the state. Chairman Zamfara State Task Force on Security Abubakar Dauran at a press conference a few days ago accused some police personnel of extorting motorists and filling station managers in the name of enforcing security in filling stations due to the ongoing force scarcity. At the press conference, Dauran also warned the police to desist from visiting filling stations, hence the task force doesn't need their services. The federal government has reconstituted a team to renegotiate the 2009 agreement it had with the Academic Staff Union of Universities. Reconstituting the team, Education Minister Adamo Adamo said there is need to speedily bring to conclusion all outstanding issues in the 2009 agreement in order to achieve the desired industrial peace on the campuses.